everyone! So today, I'm going to do a cosplay update. For those of you who know, I am working on my first cosplay. My first actual handmade cosplay. And I am doing Asume Yuki from Sword Art Online, as you can tell. <laughs> so I actually picked out this cosplay before. It was some huge thing cosplay, which I'm kind of bummed that everybody's cosplaying her now. But hey! It's it's great. I she's the best character and I've seen so many great cosplays, so I'm really excited to cosplay her. Um and my plan is Anime Expo 2015. So I really wanted to go this year, I just did not have the money for it and I couldn't get a ride. So, you know. Anyway, I'm planning on 2015. Yeah, I can't wait. Anyway. I started this cosplay, let's see, what day? I started this cosplay two weeks ago. Now, I am not a master seamstress. At all. But, um, I've definitely learned from trial and error with this cosplay. And I kind of made the mistake of choosing one of the hardest cosplays to do for my first project. So, if you're starting out cosplaying, I would not recommend doing this because hooey, it was a lot of work. But anyway, this is kind of what it's looking like so far. It's not 100% done yet, but this is what it looks like. And I'll show you the back of it. I painted that. I have to do the other stripe here, as you can tell. And that's the cutout. See, I'm kind of not too happy with the cutout in the back because her cutout's a little bigger. And, I don't know. Anyway, that's what it's looking like so far. Um, I still have to make the two skirts, her breastplate, her arm bands, and the sleeves, and the leggings. But this has taken two weeks, so... And, yeah, the other cross, too. I forgot to mention, and I still have to do that. Anyway, this cosplay, um, I kind of use whatever references I can get off of the internet. Google is, like, my best friend for this cosplay. So, I found a couple people on DeviantArt who did tutorials on how they did their, um, cosplays. And that was really helpful. I made some alterations here and there for my preferences and stuff, but overall that was really helpful. So for the shirt, I used a Berta pattern um, and altered it a bunch, and I added my own collar. So, and the red lines are all hand-painted, which, looking at it, you can kind of tell just because they're not the neatest, but hey, for a first job, I think it's pretty good. <laughs> um... And the cross, I just printed out a template. I still have to do the other one. Anyway, this little guy is the piece that goes over. And it clips on. This little clip at the top. And I still have to finish this, too. It has little things here. and Anyway, it's a work in progress. And, yeah, I just bought the wig, which I'm loving it. <laughs> Uh, my friend helped me fix it be fix it up because I wasn't too happy with the braid in the back at first, which you can kind of see it, but it was not really braided the way I would have liked. So anyway, my friend helped me with that, and it was really easy to do. And I'm going to have her mom cut the bangs a little shorter because I kind of wanted Asuna's bangs. So... Yeah, I bought this at lightinthebox.com, which I had bought um, a Hatsune Miku wig there before, and I, I loved it, so I figured, hey, why not? I also bought my sword from lightinthebox.com, and it's made out of wood and PVC, and they pretty much custom make it for you, and I absolutely love the way it looks. So, yeah, it's totally, totally great. It's coming together so wonderfully. I am so happy about it. Yeah, so anyway, um, I can link things below, but you guys need to let me know if you want the links. I'm not going to link them right off the bat. 
So I will also keep you guys updated about how this turns out because I'm really excited about it. Anyway, my future cosplay plans are Nana Osaki from the, the anime and manga Nana and Ryuko Makoe. Hope I'm saying her name right from Kill a Kill, which is another of my favorite animes. So, and I'm also hoping to do either Mikasa from Attack on Titan or Kayoko Sakura from um, Puella Madoka. Ma okay, I'm not gonna say that. Anyway, <laughs> from the Madoka show. I can never remember the full names, so I just call it the Madoka Show. Anyway, um, honestly, for Anime Expo 2015, I had like a list of 20 different cosplays I wanted to do, so I just had to narrow it down because there's too many. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will keep you posted. Bye!